ito yung Bayagayuma kay Amanda Page sobra-sobra labis-labis ni Amanda at kanina and eh, nakapagtat nakatatlong pelikula ako sa Viva and ayun again pera na naman syempre because of drugs again nawala na naman ako sa eksena nag-aasa si Boss Big medyo maghiwalay muna kami okay lang kaya may pera na ako drugs na naman ulit-ulit somewhere along 1996 in the, in the last part of 1996 96 inatake ako again <coughs> slight stroke okay pero ayoko pa rin huminta dahil gusto mo nang madedo nun na eh. I mean ang purpose sa buhay nun was very negative na ano pa ang purpose of existence? Mapalad pa rin si tata dahil nandoon ang kanyang mga kaibigang tapat na tumutulong sa kanya. Ngunit nanatiling bulag sa katotohanan si tata hanggang isang araw. Tumitira ako at saka asawa ko si Melda. Tumitira kami. Ay, siya rin, daming pera eh, may pera. Kumakatok yung kapitbahay ko. Sabi pare, pare, yung anak mo si Satcho nahulog sa kanal. Eh, kung may storbo yung ano, yung hit ko eh. O sige, sige, palik mo na lang. Puro, ano, puro putik. At saka yung may mga kodi ko, ang galos at pagpapasok. Sabi niya, Papa, Papa, Mama, bakit hindi niyo ako naiintindihan? Dumidumi ko na. Mas, makikita yung mahusok yung mitira ko. Ano ba yan? Bakit? Ano ba yung, ano ba yung mahusok yan? Masarap ba yan? Sabi niya, patigim nga. Sabi niya, patigim nga pa. That was the last of it, you know. Binasag ko yung pipe ko. Kinapang ko lahat yung siya buko. I mean, meron akong, meron akong isang kochi na luma na, yun, sinanla namin email na yun. You know, pumanig kami ng bagyo. Pinaliguran ko lahat. To, 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 hindi to, yung talikod na 300, 1880. Pumapanig ako sa bagyo, I was praying, Yaka Lord, patuan mo. Eh, ginamit ni Lord yung bata para ma-realize ko na puro yung kawalang yan na ginagawa ko. Ang bad ganito, natawa ko yung mag-asawa. Ang pangyayaring iyon ang tuluyan ng sumira sa tanikala ng droga sa buhay ng mag-asawa. Ilang beses ko makatusan si Lord, hindi ko binubukusan. Kala ko, I mean, all the while, kala ko itong mga kaibigan ko na turihan, na wala lahat. Kala ko, wala ko kaya, you know, si Jesus Christ was there for me. He never left me nor forsake me. He was my best friend up to now. Hindi ko pagpapalit to. Kahit sa anong klase, hindi ko pagpapalit si Lord. If I wanted to do money now, ususu ko mga bold film. Yan ang 40 ko eh. I can, you know, I can make a quick buck. But I would rather stay obedient to Him. The mere fact na buhay lang ako ngayon for three times. Three times ako inatake. The mere fact na buhay ako is something great. You know, it's something, you know, it's something that I have to be grateful for our God. Ang nanay ko, millionary, inulustay ko pera, pero pinag-pray pa rin ako. I mean, ito yun ang pag-iiyak kong to. I mean, hindi ako artista, director ako eh. I'm a very lousy actor dahil rapist lang ako sa pelikula eh. Pero these are tears of joy kung paano ang ginawa sa akin, Lord. I mean, ito ako ngayon. I'm ready to die for my God. Whatever will cause you to say, okay ako. Kaya ko, wala akong masabi. Bumalik ang dating tata. Napakabait, mapagmahal. At sa kanya ngayon, walang kwenta na ang pere. Kaya yung pag-iyak-iyak ko ng 15 years na yun, Nagwagi din ako. Answered prayers din. Gusto kong humingi ng tawad sa lahat ng mga babae na buntisan ko. You know? Sa lahat ng mga taong in one way or another that I may have hurt. Gusto kong humingi ng tawad sa lahat ng mga naging anak ko. You know? Kasi tesa din again yung mga, mga naging asawa ko nga na hindi ako maintindihan saan mapatawad niyo ako. I'm asking for forgiveness. I love you all in Christ. To God be the glory. Talk about a colorful life. Looking at the life of Tata, you would you would say that ang buhay niya was beyond reach. Sa mga kadaming kasalanan. I don't know how many sins you've committed. I don't know how deep you are into drugs. I don't know how many people you have hurt in the past how, whatever amount of sins no matter how big they all seem to be you are never too far from the love of God looking at his life we, I, I was just amazed at the mercy of God that maski na paulit ulit po yung kasalanan niya balik siya sa dating ugali But the love of God kept on, stubborn, reaching out to Him, calling on to Him, 
searching for Him until one day, one moment in time, He had no other way to turn but to Jesus. Napakadali po. Just like Tata, you too can have Jesus in your heart and you too can have a fresh start in life. All we need to do is accept that we are a sinner. Letter A. Letter B. Believe in what Jesus did on the cross at Calvary. And C. Call on the name of Jesus. Commit our life to Him. Pray this prayer with me. And let's come to the Lord Jesus Christ and He will change our life. Heavenly Father, I come to You right now. And Lord, You know my life. That the sins that I have committed. So right this moment, I confess that I am a sinner. And Lord, I believe that You died on the cross to pay for all my sins. And so right this moment, I invite You into my heart. And I ask You to be my Lord. Be my Savior. I receive You into my life, Lord Jesus. I ask You to straighten and strengthen me. Heavenly Father, thank You for loving me and calling me home. Jesus, thank You for dying for me. And Holy Spirit, thank You for giving me from now on, from this day forward, a victorious life. I pray this prayer in the name of Jesus Christ, my Lord and my Savior. Amen. If you pray that prayer with us, please call the numbers on your screen. We want to talk to you and hear more from you. It's never too late to have a new life. Here's another man who knows it all too well. Ray Ann Fuentes with Steve Green's song on the prodigal son, When God Ran. Red. 